The UN Sustainable Development Goals was launched and adopted by 193 countries. These goals, if achieved by 2030, would help develop the planet. Amongst these is the goal of building resilient infrastructures, promoting inclusive and sustainable industrialization, and fostering innovations. The importance of technological innovations in our daily lives cannot be overemphasized. Communication, work, and education are almost impossible without tech today. To foster innovations in the continent, we require an investment in young talent. The internet, through easy access to educational tech resources, has enhanced technology in Africa. With the oversaturation of these resources, inflation and the cost of internet data has risen over the years. Africa's tech communities trying to improve a solution to a poverty crisis face the daunting challenge of internet data browsing, lack of mentoring and access to hardware. The need to provide solutions to this is at an all-time high, and African tech communities are coming up with innovative solutions to solve this challenge. One of these emerging communities is Techrity, which is providing equal access to opportunities in tech by boosting the participation of young people in tech. They do this by providing the basic necessities needed for young people to kickstart their careers, browsing data support, hardware, and mentorship. Core amongst its goals is to increase female participation in STEM, promote gender equality in tech, and build solutions for social good. SDGs in Africa. In Nigeria, the largest populated nation in Africa, the National Bureau of Statistics has it that women make up an average just 22% of the total number of engineering and technological university graduates each year. The Bureau further claims that women make up roughly a fifth of the total number of people working in information and communication technology sector, a figure that needs to be upped by nearly 60% in the coming years. At TechRity, we are on a mission to bridge the digital divide and bridge the gap in the unemployment sector. According to Quartz Africa, the African continent is the fastest growing continent for developers globally. But this large population of young and inexperienced coders require upskilling and education opportunities to boost their capabilities. We develop talent through our Kickstart program. The aim of the Kickstart program is to provide the vital resources that young people will need to kickstart their tech careers, like laptop, data, and mentorship. Our vision is providing equal access to opportunities in tech for Africans. In line with this vision, TechRity has partnered with various tech organizations, such as Accelerate Hub, Code Ambassadors, and Tech Trail, and Tech Creek. TechRity as an organization carried out a survey in partnership with TechRIC. We offered internet data support to multiple students and at the end of the survey we discovered that there was a wide gap between how these students could develop and where they were at the time. The data support from TechRity actually helped me a lot. There was no limitation to my data or me being worried about my data is going to finish and I have to use it maybe to communicate on some social media platforms. So watch videos and learn on YouTube about logo design, everything about design. So it just gave me the possibility to learn online at ease. First of all, I would like to say that the data actually came at the right time, like the first time I needed it most. Our teacher was actually telling us to go online and go for tutorials, but we've been calculating of data so when it actually came, I had the opportunity to go on like Charlie and um, YouTube. I told YouTube, honestly, they doubled the data for me. So I was not even calculating how much I was spending it. I was just learning and studying and watching. We discovered again that they lacked basic devices and equipment to develop themselves. And they lacked directions. They lacked mentors. We are looking forward to providing internet data support to 10,000 tech enthusiasts over the span of 10 years. Also offer laptops to these individuals and mentors. We have good mentors on ground that could work remotely and physically to help bridge this gap.
When I started out coding, yeah, I had this challenge of um, not having a mentor and having to figure out things all by myself. And it was really, really challenging. And that's the major problem Tech is solving here. It's trying to bridge the gap between being completely self-taught and having a mentor. Being a mentor involves guiding new developers from um, the beginner level to advanced giving them the proper roadmap to follow, providing them with materials to study if necessary. And yeah, it's all about guidance. One of the main aspects of Tech Critics is to help young women start a career in tech. We are trying to make women see the need to be in tech, that it's not a rule for the males alone. And this is why we partner with leading women-focused NGOs women NGOs that are in tech that can actually guide these young women and relate their progress back to us. In line with one of our missions, which is educating the female gender, we had a two-day symposium, which was in line with the International Women's Day celebration. It was tagged women in leadership and technology. So we had women in these various positions talk about women in tech and how the female gender could help themselves and find their path smoothly in tech and how to feel free to venture into leadership positions. We also had an outreach in multiple schools in the Niger Delta. The vision of Tech Rity is to inspire, build and coach new talents in the tech industry. And this is where their Build for Social Good program comes in. The Build for Social Good program is aimed at promoting social innovations by bringing together developers, thinkers, builders, innovators to innovate around local African challenges and build solutions for social good. This program is aimed at encouraging Africans to innovate more in R&D and technology. Security, working with the United Nations SDG, we are looking forward to building innovative solutions for social good. So last year we had a hackathon. In that hackathon we had various teams come up with innovative solutions like quick money, farm vest and a lot more. After the hackathon, the winners of the hackathon get to take part in the Tequity Incubation Program. In the Tequity Incubation pro Program, the hackathon winners get resources and funding for their products to be launched in the market. Quick Money aims to deliver a user-friendly mobile financial service to SMEs across Nigeria by providing small and medium business owners access to frictionless opportunities to request for loans and invest in the Nigeria market. The goal of our product is to reduce the amount of businesses that fail due to lack of funds by at least 30%. During the hackathon, Techity provided us access to mentors to guide us through the process, telling us the best path to take to deliver our products. These innovations are being worked on, improved on, so that they could be used by individuals or masses. So we are still working towards having more hackathons and building more innovative solutions that will span across Africa and the world at large.